Hello, it's Gavin again from Lucid Computer Solutions. Hope you're well. So today we have an unboxing and first impressions video. And today we'll be taking a look at the Samsung A22 5G smartphone. And here it is, as we can see, the lovely uh, Galaxy smartphone. So what this is, is a budget smartphone with 5G capability. So here in the UK, we're getting 5G into more and more areas. It's getting more and more commonplace. So as people potentially want to step up to them quicker speeds that 5G provides, um, you will need a mobile phone which supports 5G. And this, I believe, at the time of filming this video, is one of the cheapest 5G compatible mobile phones you can buy. And we'll get to price once we've uh, once we've had a little look at this and unboxed it. But should we go ahead and unbox it and uh, we'll take a look. So let's take it out of the box like so. So we've got the little Samsung uh, kind of inlay card, which should just pop out. So in there, I would imagine we've got the usual documentation and bump and stuff. And there we have our phone there. Now this has got a 6.6 .6 inch screen. There it is still in the wrapper so as you can see size wise my hands are fairly big and it is quite a big phone in all honesty that's a 6.6 .6 inch um it's got an infinity v display so great marketing terms there can i tell you exactly what that means no i can't basically i think with it being a samsung phone even though it's a budget phone, I'd still expect it to have a decent screen because Samsung, in very, very general terms, produce good screens. So, so yeah, a 6.6 inch um, Infinity V display. Um, because of the size of this phone, it has a 5,000 uh, milliamp battery. What does that mean in the real world? It means it will have decent slash very good battery life. So fully expect you to get a full day out of this of mild to heavy use, no problem at all. Um, and when you are charging the phone back up, it has the 15 watt charger with it. I believe it supports fast charging as well. So it won't take long to get charged back up again. Um, elsewhere, what we've got, we've got an octa-core uh, processor in this Samsung phone. It's got four gig of RAM. Its built-in storage is 64 um, gigabytes. But importantly, with this and with many Android phones, it has the micro SD slot. So it means you can install um, uh, up to a one terabyte micro SD card to boost that um, potential storage right up. That's something I always personally do. I always put in an SD card, maybe not one terabyte because I don't need that, but realistically, maybe a 64 gig um, SD card and I dump all of my music and pictures onto that card. Um, and off you go. So I do like that. So phone, the phone overall um, is, like I said, it's, it's, it's quite a decent size. We can see the camera there on the back. Looks like we've got uh, three different cameras there and our flash as well. So feels quite nice in the hand. Yes, I've still got it in the wrapper, but uh, should we just pop it out of the wrapper and take a bit of a closer look? There we go with the wrapper off. We can see my own reflection there, lovely. Um, it feels quite solid in the hand. Considering the price of this phone, it does feel like decent. Obviously at this price range, um, when it comes to budget phones, they can, some of them can feel um, a bit cheap, a bit plasticky, a bit tacky. Honestly, doesn't in my very first impressions, I've never seen this phone before and holding it in my fan hand, it feels like a decent mid-range phone to me. Um, so there we go. Um, obviously, this is running Android. It's Android version 11. Um, that's super important because you want, a, a, want an up-to-date uh, version of whatever operating system you use, either Android or Apple or what have you. You need something which is up-to-date, still supported, still getting security updates. That's the most important thing. For us, when we're testing out this phone, it has to be up-to-date and secure just because of the nature of the industry that we're in. Um, but yeah, we want to test out this one. But in particular, why we've got this phone is all about testing out the 5G coverage. There are some parts 
uh, near where we're based where there is 5G coverage. So I might have to wander outside the office and go and find it. But what I fully aim to do is test out this phone for let's say three or four weeks and then I will do a proper review of how I've got on with it. The context here, I'll use it as a business phone. So the reason I'm not talking about in depth about cameras and video capabilities is because at this moment in time, I'm not too interested in that. This is more about just general day-to-day -day business use, calls, text messages, messaging, a few Microsoft-based apps and a few other apps as well. And if it runs all them and gives me my 5G connectivity, it's gonna tick all the boxes. So there we go. What we'll do is we'll just have a quick look of what's left over in the box, what else you get. So you do get your Samsung charger, as we can see here, and we get our USB Type-C lead as well. So yeah, just to be absolutely crystal clear, it's a USB Type-C on the phone. And I don't know if you can just see inside there, we've got the little uh, tool for uh, removing the SIM card slot, which probably also doubles up as the SD card slot as well, just so we can remove that. And that's all you've got in terms of the actual box itself. So I'm looking forward to using this, the Samsung A22 5G phone. So price, I've referenced it a few times and I've mentioned that this is a budget phone and it is. So I picked this up yesterday. So please, please do check the date on this video because prices change all the time. Um, I picked this up for 180 British pounds, which I think is super cheap um, if it really does provide that good 5G um, connectivity. Then for 180 pounds, if this does all the other usual day to day business stuff well, then I think it potentially a bargain. I will know more in a few weeks time and I do promise to actually do a follow-up video when I've lived with this and I will give it a proper test. I'll use it every day that I'm at work and I'll let you know how I get on. But yeah, 180 pounds for this, which I think for a 5G enabled phone from a good brand like Samsung, um, I think that represents good value. Um, so there is a link down below to the phone. If you wanna check it out yourself, please do click the link below and you'll see whatever price it is at the minute. But yeah, I managed to get it for 180 pounds at time of recording this video. So I will wrap things up for today. All this was intended to be was an unboxing and giving a few first impressions about this phone. And I will do an in-depth uh, review of it when I've actually used it myself for a number of weeks. So please do look out for that. Um, as ever, feel free to comment on the video. I do try and get back to everybody. If you've got any questions or suggestions or alternatives, please do let us know. Likewise, smash that like button for me. It's such a small thing and it goes such a long way to grow in this channel. So please do help me out and smash that like button. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, and likewise, all the links are down below to connect in with me on other platforms such as LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram. So that's been me. Gavin from Lucid Computer Solutions. Oh, before I forget, subscribe as well. Don't just like, subscribe as well. That's been me, Gavin from Lucid Computer Solutions. I will see you on the follow-up video to this when I've used it for a good few weeks. See you soon.